I'm Lakshya, so today I'm here to explain you applications of trigonometry exercise 12.2, the second question. Here you have. A 1.5 meter tall boy is looking at the top of the temple, which is 30 meter in height from a point at a certain distance. The angle of elevation from his eye to the top of the crown of the temple increases from 30 degrees to 60 degrees as he walks towards the temple. Find the distance he walked towards the temple. Now here, let's draw the diagram according to the given data. A 1.5 meter tall boy is looking at the top of the temple. So let's draw. Here you have a 1.5 meter tall boy. So this boy is of 1.5 meter and he, um, he is looking at the top of the temple. So the temple which is 30 meter in height. So he is looking at the top of the temple or yeah he is just watching the crown of the temple. Okay here you have something like crown of the temple. So he is watching this uh, crown of the temple okay at this point now next what happens here is the distance of the, the angle of elevation from his eye to the top of the crown of the tower of the temple increases from 30 degrees to 60 degrees so the angle of elevation from his eye to the crown of the temple increases 30 degrees to 60 degrees as we know, let me draw a line. Firstly, let me draw an angle of elevation from his eye to the crown of the temple. So, this angle of elevation makes 30 degrees. 30 degrees because as we know, when the observer when the observer, as the observer moves forward, the angle of elevation increases, right? Thus, the observer stayed here uh, and what happened here is, the angle of elevation uh, from his eye to the top of the temple increases from 30 degrees to 60 degrees. So, the angle of elevation increases from 30 to 60 as he moves forward okay as he moves forward he's he moves in this direction as he moves forward the angle of elevation increases okay thus here we can write like 30 degrees over here and after a particular distance after a you know after a certain walk when this observer reached over here his angle of elevation will become 60 degrees done till clear uh, clear till here now next find the distance he walked towards the temple so the question is we must find the distance that this person walked towards the temple so we must find the um, the length of this this particular point let, let let's point this as c let's make this as Okay, CD. Next, uh, let's make this point as A. This as B. A, B, C, D. And um, let's make this as E. Okay, over here like, okay, let me make like C, F. And over here. Okay, now. Here, I need to find the distance. Distance. Distance the boy traveled, the boy walked towards the temple. So the length of CD. Now to find the length of CD, uh, let's make like solution and degree. Now we made a picture according to the given uh, data. Now let's consider triangle ABC. Now before uh, before solving this problem, as we know, you have a boy with one point. Uh, 5 meter tall okay so this boy length where we can conclude that dg equals to 1.5 meter 
right dg equals 1.5 meter so the the boy the length of the boy is 1.5 meter height and okay the temple which is 30 meters in height so the temple height temple would be a e let's write like temple with Here you have temple, so the length okay. the total length of the temple where A E will be the temple in the given figure. So the total length of the temple will be 30 meters. So here if you just observe that DG or G D okay, DG is parallel to B E, right? So DG is parallel to BE as we can consider DG is with 1.5 meter of height as we can again say that BE is also with 1.5 meter of height. Now to find AB so we must find the value of AB where 30 meter 30 minus 1.5. 30 minus 1.5 gives what? 30 minus 1.5 gives the AB value where 28.5. So the AB value is 28.5. Let me write down like 28.5 meters. Thus, here we can say that where AB is 28.5. BE is 1.5 thus the height of the temple AE is 30 meters then now we must uh, by now by considering triangle ABC let's write down like in triangle ABC so here you have um, an angle C at angle C you have 60 degrees which forms now let's find the value of BC firstly Let's consider BC has not any value. Let's consider BC as X, CD as Y. Let it be X and Y. Let BC be X, CD be Y. Now, just consider uh, at, at, at angle C, you have opposite side and adjacent side. Which trigonometric ratio relates opposite side by adjacent side? Yes, as we know tan theta. Tan theta relates opposite side by adjacent side. As tan 60 degrees, we can uh, we can write thus here you have 60 degrees. Now opposite to the 60 degrees, you have AB and adjacent to the angle C, you have BC. Opposite to the angle C, you have uh, AB and adjacent to the angle C, you have BC. Now, AB value where tan 60 degree value will be root 3 equals to AB value here you have 28.5 BC value we don't have value but we took a variable called X. Okay, let's let's um, let BC be X. Let's take X over here. Now, by cross multiplication here we haven't any denominator as we can assume 1 in the denominator space. So, root 3 into X we can add like root 3 into x gives what root 3 into x as well so root 3 into x equals to 28.5 into 1 any number multiplied by 1 gives the same number so now root 3 into x equals 28.5 i need the value of x thus let me transpose this root to the other side this becomes x equals to 28.5 by root 3. We got the value of x, right? x equals 28.5 by root 3. This let me write down here. We got the x value where x value is 28.5 by root 3. Done? Clear? Next. Here you have where now let's consider the next triangle here you have. In, if you see, if you observe this figure, you can look into two triangles. You can, uh, you know, 
you can see two triangles where A, B, C will be the first triangle and you can also see that A, B, D. Okay, both are right angle, the triangles as well. So here you have two right angle triangles where A, B, C will be the first one or and A, B, D will be the second one. Now we considered A, B, C. Now let's consider the second triangle. Second triangle in the given figure is what? A, B, D. A, B, D. In triangle A, B, D. Let's again consider you have opposite side by this hand side. Just consider this. Opposite to the angle D. Here you have is A, B. Adjacent to the angle D. Here you have B, D. Okay, let's consider tan. 60 or 30. 30 degrees over there. Tan 30 degree equals to. A B value over there. Let me, let, me, let me write down like A B by B D. Opposite side by adjacent side to the angle D. But tan 30 degrees equals to 1 by root 3. Let me write down like 1 by root 3 equals to A B as 28.5 by B D value. Let me write it down again. Let me write down here like you have BD as we know BD equals to BC plus CD right you have BD where BD equals to BC plus CD gives what BD now BD equals to BC where BC is 28.5 by root 3 plus CD let CD be Y let's consider this as Y now here, to find the value of BD, we must add 28.5 by root 3 plus Y. As we don't know the value of Y, so now let's find the value of Y. Find the value of Y. Uh, let me write again like BD equals to BC plus CD. As BC value is 28.5. Through this, I am just writing like BC equals 28.5 root 3 plus CD is Y, right? I am just writing like Y. Now here, by cross multiplication, guys. By cross multiplication, okay. root 3 into 28.5 gives what? 28.5 into root 3 equals to. Next, here you have. 1 into 28.5 by root 3 plus y gives what? 28.5 by root 3 plus y. Now, where root 3 into root 3 gives 3. As we, uh, okay, as we know that root 3 into root 3 gives what? 3. Now, let me write down like 28.5 into 3 equals to 28.5 plus y. Now here you have plus 28.5. When I transfer this plus 28.5 to the other side, this becomes minus 28.5. As I can write 28.5 into 3 minus 28.5 equals to y. Why I transfer this 28.5 to the other side mean I need the value of y. Okay. So I got the value where y equals to by 28.5 uh, into root 3 minus uh, 28.5 equals to y. Now let's simplify this. As you know, 28, 28.5 into 3 becomes what? Point over here, let me write down point and uh, 5. 85.5 right 85.5 minus 28.5 equals to what gives 57 thus thus we got what y equals to y equals to 57 meters okay let's conclude like
let's conclude like that. Therefore, find the distance. So the distance uh, walked the distance walked by by the boy towards the temple is is 57 meters okay this figure like hence solved and so where y equals to 57 meters? So the distance, uh, the distance of walked, the distance walked by the boy to the towards the temple is 57 meters. Thank you.